What's up everyone? It's Lens Addict here and today I have the M2 MacBook Pro and the M1 MacBook Pro and we're going to do a little comparison between the two. So let's get started. So this is the M1 MacBook Pro. Let's have a look at the specs. And here's the M2 MacBook Pro. So this is a base model M1 MacBook Pro and this is a base model M2 MacBook Pro. And they both have the same amount of storage. So on Apple's website, they claim that the speakers are improved. So I'm going to do a very brief speaker test. So let's try out the speakers on the M1. Let's try the M2. They sound pretty much identical to me, although it actually might say the M1 has slightly more bass, but it's very similar. Here's a quick look at the webcams between the two devices. So this is the M2 MacBook Pro. I would actually say that it's just slightly sharper on the M2, but I don't think it's more resolved detail. I think it's just over sharpening. So if we look up there at that, and then we look at this one, they're pretty similar, honestly. Apple said that the webcam had improved ISP. Like there is a slight difference. It's very minor. Anyway, we'll close out the webcam. <laughs> It's weird seeing myself 2x on here. And next up, we're going to do a Minecraft test. So we'll see how Minecraft performs on both these machines. And we're going to go, go to video settings and just check the settings are the same. They look the same. I might actually turn off the audio because going to be too much of both of them at once. We'll turn off V-Sync so we can get the max FPS. All right, and then let's start the game. And we'll go create a new world for both. We can test the game creation speed and let's have a look. Oh no. Well, I pressed the M1 slightly quicker, but let's see which one is quicker in the end. Oh, they're about the same. I think pretty much dead on the same, really. Okay. Let's full screen it. Um, here's the FPS difference. So we can see the M1 MacBook Pro is around 30 frames a second, and the M2 is around 45 frames a second. So there is a difference. And the M2 is definitely, it's actually noticeable, like panning around, um, it's less laggy. This one, you can kind of see it more. Like this is still playable, but it's noticeable, the lag. Whereas this one is, well, there's lag on this one too, really, but I think overall it is faster. All right, let's get Geekbench going. Let's run it on both devices and we'll have a look. While we wait for Geekbench to run, let's have a look at the underside of these devices and see if there's any differences on the serial number or model number. So looking on this device, this is the M1 MacBook Pro. We can see that the model number, well, you pause the video and have a look, but I think the model number A2338 is the same as the M2. A2338. Isn't that strange? You would think considering the processor is different, it's a different model number, but it's not. The only real difference is that the serial number is randomized. Whereas on this one, it doesn't appear to be randomized. If you are familiar with the serial numbers, you'll know that that one, you can figure out a few things from it, like the date the machine was made. 
The only other difference I can see is that the font here is bigger versus on here. But that's it. Something else that I'm noticing is that the screen is slightly warmer on the M2 MacBook Pro. So here we have the Geekbench scores. And that's the M1. This is the M2. Let's have a look. Very interesting to see the differences. Next up, we're running the Compute Benchmark. So next up, we're running the Geekbench Compute Benchmark. And we can see which one gets a better score. It'll obviously be the M2. But by how much? Because it has two more graphics cores. All right, let's have a look. So this is the M2. And that's the M1. And so we can see it got a pretty big difference in score. Nice. Next up, we have the same video file and we're gonna export them both in ProRes in better quality. So we will do that now and we're gonna start a stopwatch. Oops, close enough. And then we start the stopwatch. And let's see which one is quicker. So we're at the one minute 40 mark and it looks like the M2 MacBook Pro is just about to finish. And the M1 is just over halfway. So we just saw the M2 MacBook Pro finish at the two minute mark. And we seeing the M1 still going. It's about, I would say 70% there. So the M1 did it in two minutes, four seconds. And the M1 MacBook Pro just finished. So that leaves us with two minutes for the M2 and four minutes for the M1. So let's export again, this time not in ProRes and see if there's as big of a difference. So this time we'll just do high quality on both. And we'll do that the same here. Hi. And we'll go fast. And we'll get them to both export that file. And let's see how we go. So we'll reset the stopwatch. We'll start it and then get them both to export. So they're both exporting now. We'll open up that progress bar. Let's have a look which one's going at what speed. Let's have a look. So the M2 is saying four minutes and the M1 is saying four minutes. So it looks like it'll be a bit closer. Well, let's see which one wins. So exporting on high quality has seems to be the exact same speed. Maybe iMovie isn't optimized for the M2 chip yet, um, but they basically are both taking around five minutes. It looks like I think the M1 just finished and so did the M2, pretty much dead on the same time. So no difference there really. So it seems to be only ProRes that's affected. Oh, there we go. Pretty much dead on the same time. Thank you for getting through this much of the video. Um, so here's my summary. If you have an M1 MacBook Pro, I don't think it's worth upgrading to the M2. If you have an Intel MacBook Pro, the M2 is an excellent upgrade, but just, I think, get the Air, unless you're gonna be doing things with sustained load, where you need a fan to cool it down. So if you're doing video exporting, might make sense to get the M1 current or hold out for the M2X or whatever the, you know, 14 inch, 16 inch version of the M2 will be or go on Marketplace for a used one. But performance wise, yes, it is faster. The GPU is a lot faster, 30 to 40%. CPU is faster once again, but it's not noticeable day-to-day -day usage. Um, it might be in the future, but currently I don't see it. 
Um, so, um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. And I hope you all have a good day. Lens Addict out.